bar, dude. Just approach the guy and go, yo, you hungry? Here's a Snickers. And I guarantee you, he'll give you guys good Smash matches. Yo, Snickers, sponsor this guy. <laughs> Fox is way too good in this game, dude. I hate fighting. I hate fighting foxes that, you know, like you work so hard to get a kill, and then he comes down, he shines, and you're dead, and you feel like shit after that. Cause you work so hard for that kill, and he just has to shine you once. Yeah. But Sheik's the same for me. I hate fighting Sheik's too. I don't know why. Sheik's and foxes, I just hate. I think it's easier if, like, if within your group you have a Sheik player, and you constantly play and you learn the matchup. But Ken and I, we never had Sheik players in our group. Well, we had we had Tavo, but Tavo, his Sheik was alright, and then he quit, so... Like, you know, you're, like, you're winning the neutral game, right? You're winning the whole entire neutral game. You're winning, basically, you're winning the whole entire match. And Fox gets one shine off you, and he wins. Man, that's just like a... It just, like, ruins your day. Tipper, right? Tipper. What about corn? Ken gets tippers with corn all the time. He, he just hits it. He's strong. You're full of shit, dude. Corn has to, he thinks it's a tipper because it's so long range. Yeah, it's corn has tippers. That, that's a tipper, dude. They call it a tipper. Corn has to Everyone that plays corn says say that's a tipper. She has she has her light move. Sometimes that doesn't kill. And sometimes it does. Ken thinks Smash 4 is a good game. He doesn't hate it. Uh, I, he's like me. We don't. We like. We like all the Smash games to a degree. You know, every Smash game has its own kind of style and play. Smash 4 is not a bad game. I don't know. Like when it comes to watching it, it's all right. But playing it's fun. You know, if Meta Knight was in this game, he would fucking not be that good. Nah, I don't think I don't think he'll be that good, dude. He'll be just like fucking Kirby. He'll be a little better than Kirby, dude. Cause they always like if you look at like okay Smash Brawl for example. No, no, I'm saying in Smash Brawl, right? He and Kirby were like almost like the same move sets, is what I'm saying. So if he was in melee, they wouldn't make him OP. You know? They probably give him a really good down smash. Hey big, how many how many reuse are you ordering, dude? Don't you have like five of each fucking amiibo? When the when the basically when the amiibo market goes like south and everyone's like looking for the collection, you'll be rich, dude. If Meta Knight from Brawl was in this game, then it'd be OP as shit. That'd be like fucking bullshit. Like if Falco from Brawl was in this game, I think he'll be good too. 
Like, Falco and Brawl is better than Falco and, and Falco and then in Melee, I think. If he was, I'm talking about, if you take Brawl, Falco, and you put him in this game, he can chain grab you across the stage and just dance and, and then just drill you. I just think the only thing Devil Hunt Snatch for is some moves. I don't like I don't like Rage. Rage is kinda dumb. I don't like I don't like the rage the rage aspect of the game. Other than that, it's not it's not a bad game. I mean we had fun with it, like eight player mode is damn fun. Oh, fucking shy guys! You guys are so lucky. This guy's lucky today, dude. The shy guy's next to this fucking hitbox. How am I lucky today, man? You just fucking, like, you just got everything on your side today. Everything is on your favor today. You won the fucking stupid what do you call it. I'm actually getting it when you play. You're full of shit, dude. You suck. When I play, you have a problem. Because I take your ass out. You, yesterday, I would say yesterday you, you weren't lucky. Yesterday when Roll was here, you, you were just getting wrecked. But today you're quite lucky. Well, you guys understand something about Vague. Vague, he's a collector. He's a collector, dude. He has like all these rare, all these like rare posters for Zelda. He has a Mega Man, like you know, like if you're a Nintendo fan and you're collecting all this shit, it's worth something. It's worth something to the right buyer. Is what I'm saying. So Vague, Vague's pretty smart when it comes to buying shit. You know, he has like. Limited edition like games still boxed in like mid condition. I mean, you know, why would they make that shit if, if not to, you know, be worth a lot? You know. I mean, I I I tried to collect uh, stuff when I was younger, and most of my stuff was like comics, some like really good Marvel like cards. I had like the first edition Superman, Man of Steel card. You know, I have a, a comic signed by the creator of the Turtles, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you know a lot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys, the original ones, they're worth so much now, it's insane. Like I heard the Bo Bebop and Rock Study toy is like worth like $300. Yeah. I mean, it's just, people collect for different reasons. I mean, people collect bottle caps, dude. Bottle caps is like huge. I'm telling you, if I, if I was to go back in time, I would buy all the Zelda games unopened, mint condition. Same with the, uh, same with some of the rare Nintendo games. build endurance, right? But really, when you're hiking, it's all about those step things that you guys do. Yeah, I know. We do Yeah, those squats and step things is what really matters, I think. Running? Because I don't do that, and my legs hurt like hell when I'm hiking. Yeah, because squats and lunges is what really is good for hiking. You're constantly, like, climbing uphill. Zelda CD hiking? I'll get all the music collections, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah, running, build endurance, and core strength, you're right, Meg. That's good for long, like, lasting long distances. Like, you don't get tired, you know? But if you want to, like, hike and be really efficient, you gotta do squats and, uh, and lunges. Like what Helen and Jenny does. That's why when they're, like, hiking, they don't get, their, their muscles don't ache. I gotta start doing some of that shit before our hike. I don't know what it is, but after like a 12 mile hike, you just feel so good. You, I mean, you eat a lot, but to, but you feel like amazing. Yeah, my, my, I, okay, okay. I don't know why, but I had this idea, the first time I went hiking, that lemonade was gonna <laughs> give me so much energy, right? 
And I was like, I'm gonna bring some s'mores still. So I made everybody s'mores and I brought lemonade. Oh my god, I was fucking dehydrated as shit. So I learned my lesson. So now I drink nothing but water and like, and some kind of like, I guess, uh, energy drink? Yeah, electrolyte drinks. So I learned my lesson, but I, the first time I went, I brought I brought s'mores and fucking lemonade. Oh man, I was getting wrecked. He put those eyes for ten on the chair. It's really hot though. Maybe like yeah, they were pretty hot. All the European girls, man, they're they're always hiking in their bikinis and shit. They're all like, you want that power energy bar? So fucking European girls, so strong. Yeah, the European girls, man, they're all fit. Oh my god, she survived that. She survives. A Dude, her recovery is amazing. I don't know why people say Sheik's recovery is bad. She can go high, low. She can trick them out. She can turn to Zelda, and you're telling me that's a bad recovery. It's amazing. That's a cool shit, dude. Anyone can cover all their options. you can say okay. You if you can say oh, she only makes it back if you predict wrong, right? But that's with every character. No, not if you predict wrong. It's just messed up. That's the only way to go back. Dude, do not drink coke. Do not drink coke when you're going hiking. <laughs> you look so stupid. It's not. I guarantee you it's not. Why is it like that? Yes, hot, hot, hot European girls in bikinis. I 